can't make the gold thing. It doesn't come with it, silly. Is it like a and the flower? Shoes don't. Yeah. So, <clears throat> it's just the dress. See? Oh, it's got a big bow of it. A big flower. And then the gloves. So, but not the gold thing. All right, so do you want, <clears throat> you guys like this one? No? Because you can't do the gold thing. <laughs> no, I want the dress to be gold and stuff. Oh, you want it to be gold? <laughs> well, you have to have the material to do that. It, 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 it can be any type of material. Normally, they use like a cotton. I might even have, I don't know. I have to look at all my stuff at home. It takes like this much material. It doesn't take very much. So what do you think? We'll finish looking at these in a minute. So, um, and then you just decide and I'll cut the patterns out for you, okay? There's 24 stylish outfits. <laughs> Cool. Oh, I like that bottom one in the corner that has a sweater. Yeah. She looks, she looks chic. It's called, it's called downtown chic. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Okay. She liked the winter one. I like that white dress. But remember, anytime you look at something you, you don't have to color. you can change the color it's just the style yes you're looking at and that was the hardest thing for my students at school i want the pink one okay if you can find that material you can make it but or i don't like that one because it's red well then make it blue okay all right so now what are we going to work on you want this one this rock star she's a musician supposedly Okay, and you want the outdoor one. Okay, all right. And the way I cut them out is I cut them out with wax paper because the pattern are right here, and you have to be able to see through it to get it to come out. So I will do that for you. So you want the <clears throat> rock star, and you want the outdoor girl. Okay, all right. So what are we wanting to work on today? Well. These are still too wide, so I don't know okay. what the solution is here. I was thinking that maybe if we just put elastic from here to here, then it wouldn't be so, like, choky. Yeah. Because the elastic would just pull from here to here, and then the other elastic would pull from here to there. We could do that. I don't know. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Let me see. Because this one that I have over here, they say, is too choky. But that could be because it's going all, all the way, way around. around. Okay. So what we could do, we could even put, like take this out and make it wider. Does it fit? The Does arms, it, the, yeah. The arms well, feel okay? They, they hang down because this part's loose, but yeah, but they're, the, the arms are correct, I think. Okay. Once you put, you can put yours on. Sorry. And it doesn't, pull up on the armpits, right? What I'm thinking, we could put one more pleat in it because we had plenty of room to do that. And that would pull it closer here and I think I would probably just do it in the back because Put it on, Rachel. It would. Okay. okay. So this is I think what we can do is just put this like this. And we'll put that on it and we'll see if we can. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> You're gonna have to get up to get it on you, beauty. <laughs> she wants to know if she can use knit for her Barbie outfits. Um which one did you want to make? The rock star one? Um, yeah. That'll work. Okay. Just depends.
depends on what colors you want. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of hard over that dress, isn't it? <laughs> she saw her her fabric surprise. Oh. So I don't know if that's. That's good. Yeah. That's a knit. And, and you want to make a top out of that too? Well, I was wanting to. I have a, a shirt pattern, but I want to turn it into a dress. Yeah, I just have to make to it, it or make it longer. Yeah. All right. I think what we can do is we're going to put another pleat here. Let me think. Because it needed an elastic all the way around, but we modified it. So. We could put another pleat in it, which would then give you more gathers that you like. Let me see the back. Let me, let me pin this. Turn around, let me see the back. <coughs> Let's get that hair out of the way. Oh, you're sitting on it. Okay, now you can scoot back down. All right. I'm afraid if we do it too much, it's going to make the arms. Oh, yeah. We could, we could actually do a dart. Take this out. And do a dart like this, and it would be on the inside then. Okay, let me see the front again. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to. Stand up and see if you can go like this. Like it's, I know it's going to be hard because you got a shirt on underneath there, but a dress. Does it feel like it's too tight doing this? Okay, that's what we're going to do. We got an easy solution for it. Okay. okay, take it off. What we'll do is we will take. Now, if we do that on the inside, do it the other way on the inside? Uh huh. Should I just serge it and just cut all that out? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll take these darts that we made out for the pleats and then. Can you get it? Oh, you can't get it off? Here. Come here. Let me. Grab but she's afraid of the pin. <laughs> come over here. Get it off there. Put your arms up. It's caught on your arms. <laughs> Thank you. You're stronger than that. All right. So all we're going to do is take this out, and then we're going to put a big dart in the front, and then you've got your gathers that you like, that you want it. And we'll just do this. We knew it was going to be different. And then so if we're going to do it to the plaid material, we would just go ahead and build the pleat into it. So we take the front down a little. The other thing I need to figure out is what size they are in this. This is a knit shirt pajama pattern. Okay. And then I wanted to add a skirt to it. A skirt or just the length? She wants it like to flare. Uh-huh. 
So something. Well, if you want it to be, all we do is come down and just, you know, flare it out. Okay, Because um, adding. You don't want a skirt just like this. You don't want it to twirl. Uh huh. You said you did. I want tight. Tight, 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 tight. Well, we're not going to wear tight today. Oh, no, no. Why? Because it'll rip the seams out. That's, That's right. <laughs> and knit, oh, it, knit, even though it moves, it still doesn't like to be stretched so far. So if we're going to make it longer, um, we will have to flare it out a little bit. So. Not a lot. Not a twirly lot. All right. Now the way you make a dart in shirts and um, women's shirts, I don't know if I put one in here or not, nope, uh, but normally shirts have a, a thing to bring in the fullness and it's called a dart. This is corduroy so I didn't do it on my corduroy. <laughs> Alright, now watch. I gotta take this whole We're going to turn it inside out. I'm going to take the exact middle. Now, even though it's knit, it would be the same, you do the same size. So, it's just because it's stretchy, we would make the same size out of it that we do the other stuff. Okay? All right. See how this is out now? Okay. What do we do with this thing? Out. Okay. All right, we're going to go like this, a dart on the inside, start here, you're going to start right here and you're going to work your way down and I'll even draw you a line to, to sew on. Darts go from the top, remember that stitch, you're going to go down to right here. And it's like at an angle, you're twirling. Do you see what I mean? It goes like this. I messed up your pattern, I'm so sorry. Okay, so a dart, we're going to start right here and sew down right here. Okay. And on the back, we're going to do the same thing, but just not quite as much. Make the front really. And then we take this out. And then, yes, you can trim it and then zigzag the. Sometimes darts are on the um, sleeve seams and you actually build it into the sleeve so but this one worked fine at the top. Now these stitches seem like really really close together is that how they're supposed to be? I, I back stitched a lot to okay. hold the dart um, but no it's it's just because we stitched it I don't think we had it too tight I get so. It yeah, I was gonna it. try to to pull it out, and I was like, <laughs> "Where is this at?" Rachel, where's yours at? Do I need to just start working on yours? The pins are in that one. So does that mean I shouldn't try to take? The oh no, out? take the pins out. Yeah. I mean this part. Oh yes, you can, yeah. and you can even take the pins out. I was just seeing how much it needed. the wall and miss? Oh? No. I'm no? Hanging. You're, you're hanging? Yeah. Hanging and drop down. I've seen you do it. I'm just like. And now you're dropping? <laughs> it's <laughs> you're too silly. low. It's too low? Came 
in and I go, oh, there's somebody at the piano. <laughs> I go, whoa, it scared me. All right. Do you have scraps from your um, nightgowns or your because you could make, I'll show you how to make the sleeping bags at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you make that? Yeah. Who did make that outfit? Looks like, it's like an Indian. I don't think those scraps are big enough. I have to get the other scraps all the basement. Oh, no. Let's see what's in there. Doesn't take much at all. All right. You like that? Let's see how big a piece you have of that. Any more? Oh, not that one. <laughs> oh, that'll do. That's good. Okay. Is that the biggest ones? I have bigger ones in the basement, Rachel. Oh my goodness. He needs a lot of sleeping bags. <laughs> yeah, now these are little. You said they're all the same size. These are the sisters and the cousins and no, yes. This is the amount of all of them. Is it? Wow. Mm -hmm. She's been busy. <laughs> this one's oldest. This is like the oldest. Uh, what are all their names? I mean, this is. Yeah. I have six Barbies, three little ones, and my granddaughter's playing with them. I've had them since I was five. This one's the youngest. And she names them, then forgets what she named them. So. You can, if you're done with that, you can check this one. Okay. okay. All right. Oh yeah, that's a good piece. All right. So flannel is the best fabric for. Yeah, it, it, yes, and it doesn't, like, this is, all we're doing is making, um, rectangle. Uh, yeah, a rectangle, so, like, if she's going to sleep in here, what's wrong with her? Okay, we'd have to make it that long so that it cover her feet and this wide, and we'd go like this to her. <laughs> Would she want to get inside the sleeping bag, like, wrapped up tight? <laughs> okay. So it's easy to make sleeping bags. All right. All right, sweetheart. The house that we bought didn't came with, come with any beds. No. It came with tiny, tiny furniture and little dolls and the do dolls were that small. Mm. <laughs> and there was a little tiny kitty that was that small. <laughs> So it was a it was a Barbie house, but a little tiny Barbie house. No, it was a Barbie house, but it was there was these small people that came with us. Oh, okay. And small furniture. Okay, you're gonna go and start right here and come down to here. So go take it to the sewing machine. All right, where did mom put yours? Is this it? Okay. <laughs> start here. Uh huh. And you're not gonna follow any line except to go down that um, line of material. Do you need me to come over there and show you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put this pin in here. Put this pin in here. <laughs> I went on the other side. Na -na 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 -na. Okay. Let me see, sweetie. Yes, you're going to start right there, and we're going to turn it on. Can you turn on the sewing machine over? Is it plugged in? Just need to turn it on. Yeah. All right. 
Here we go. Now this is called making a dart. So we're gonna start right there and then go forward and back. Okay, now you're gonna to angle toward here, right in the middle, right there. And the, the object is to eventually go off the material. Keep going. Good. That's all there is to it. Raise it up. Are these yours or hers? Hers. <laughs> Rebecca said she didn't want the bird. Oh. Your bird? Your bird is? Okay. Here we go. Let me do this with scissors. I can do it with this opener here. Actually, did you know there's this uh, cutter on here? Let me see where it is. Right there. There's a thread cutter. Right here. See it? It's right here on the side. They're all built in. All right, now we're going to do the same thing here. All right. Pull and back stitch. Pull. Okay, now I want you to work your way down to the, go to that pin. Okay. Keep going. Okay, wait a minute. Let's make sure there's nothing underneath there. And then I want you to just keep going until you get off the material. That's called making a dart. a new thing, isn't it? Now, though, that would you go and do with your scissors, okay? All right. Now, go cut all your threads off. Okay. Now, for you, I'm going to do the same thing. Cut that, that out. And get this one out. Then we'll put them on and see if that doesn't help. Should be. When you put darts like this, you can only do so much. With the other ones, you can do a lot more. The other way. All right. Whoops, we missed this one. Oh, the work you did. Let me take it out. Baby, any trips to the hospital this past weekend? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> congestion just seems like it gets worse and worse, so I'm just confused. Yeah, they're treating him with. Did he get antibiotics or anything? No, they said it's viral, so. Right, so there's nothing they can do about it, but. now finally or not because he can't breathe he's eating okay but he was eating a little bit better Stressful. it is when you when your baby's sick if you go wait a minute my youngest daughter I said she's just not she's swallowing funny and they go, what do you mean by funny? I go, she's going, when she swallows, she's like moving her head. And one time we were playing the, you know, come up and she'd laugh and I just happened to look down. She had a big cyst in her throat. And it was, they said it was a salivary cyst. Um, so they said, we'll try to give her some like crackers or something that'll, break it up. Well, it didn't. So then we ended up having to have surgery to get that cyst out of her throat. Um. <laughs> I'm like, 
They go, you're just imagining she's doing fine. And oh, look, look yeah, at it. I hate it when they act like that. Yeah. Yeah, I took him to the ER one time, one of the times, and they were like, well, he's perfectly fine. And then he started doing it. I'm like, I pushed the nurse light. I'm like, okay, now do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh. I actually fractured my back. And they told me, I went to the ER, I said, I feel like my back's broken. They did an x ray and go, no, you're just, you know, maybe you've just hurt yourself. So my doctor ordered an MRI and I had several back fractures. Oh my. Come. Your turn. <clears throat> How come that x-ray wouldn't catch that? Because it, they were um, fractures on, and they're called hairline osteoporosis fractures. So they didn't show up on a big x-ray, just like my knee. They didn't show, the fractures didn't show up because, now you're gonna go up toward here. Um, they were inside the knee and it was so swollen. Well, my back was so swollen, it didn't show, keep going. Whoop, okay, go ahead. We're gonna aim for this one, right here. You such control. You're gonna need to do that when you sew your Barbie stuff, because it tiny, seems tiny. this little, and you're gonna go shoot all the way off of it. Okay. Raise the needle all the way up. Okay. Now you wanna see the cool thread cutter? Put your right now. How about that? Now put it on and see if it's okay. Here we go. You're gonna start right here. Always load your presser foot to hold the threads. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna back stitch. We're gonna go forward. Now, hang on. Stop. I'm gonna take what? these pins out. Which one's the front? The one with the that one. That you can tell because it's lower in the front. Uh-huh. All right, we're gonna go to here, okay? We're gonna aim for this. So go down and just aim for this. Go ahead. And we're gonna try and go off the material just like we just did. It's called a dart. Stitch and stop. Take it out and cut it. <laughs> Look at that! Can you see how you see do it? Back. Turn around. You go like. Can't see through your hair. Oh. There. Let me see. Very nice. is in the back so the bigger thing so look at yours look at how okay which one's bigger this one a tag a tag to tell which is the front or oh, just print a marker yeah which is front and back well if you have it tell. put it on correctly and then I can and then bring me a permanent marker Hard. 
hard with your things on, isn't it? Put your sleeve. Here they are up here. Okay. Can you see this? Okay, put your arms down. Yours is so much bigger than hers. Okay, take it off again. I'll fix it. <laughs> well, I think I got your hair, didn't I? Whoa! <laughs> we didn't take yours up quite enough. I kept thinking it was, was going to be too much, but it wasn't. And we'll just cut this off and then you can serge it okay but the big one back here is her back so it'll fit now how about you girl did you, you put, put it the wrong? end <laughs> you put it on the wrong one yep. oh the big one's the back yes oh, okay go get me the permanent marker <laughs> we'll change B to F and F to B all right so this is her front, and the double one is her back, okay? But we're going to cut that off and you can serge it. Did you get it? Okay. All right, so do we want to, whoa, make a couple sleeping bags real quick? Okay. All right. This picture has in the shirt and the skirt. Well, oh, I, I have need to, to know what size yes. pattern they okay. are on that knit one, too. I, that's the Thank back. You. you have to cut that and serge it. But. I want to knit a sleeping bag. Huh? I want to knit a sleeping bag. Well, we have to figure out this shirt first, okay? Figure out the shirt. The shirt dress. Let's just do it this way. Stand up straight. Let me see. Put your arms down. You're pretty straight up and down, 25. She is probably, I would probably do her as, even though she's 25, the chest, I'd make her an eight. Okay. Let's see how big your chest is here. No puffing. <laughs> no, you get your arms. <laughs> okay, put your arms 
down. Rebecca, obey. You're gonna, you're gonna go like this when you put that on. You have to be too tight now. Okay. You want it to fit you when you get a little bit older, don't you? Yeah. Now I know. You suck in. You'll only be able to wear it now. I think we would probably do a six and an eight. Okay. A six and eight. So. Um. I mean, we could get by with an 8 and 12, but with it being knit, I think a 6 and an 8 would probably be good. So, all right. So, Mom will trace those for you. All right, 6 and 8. What about the sleeve length? I couldn't tell. Um, oh. I don't know if that's full length because it's on the a picture. Raglan. It's, yeah. It's a it's but like on the picture, it says it's a pajama. They showed like a cuff. I don't want to do the cuff, so I don't know if that if the sleeve is the right length, like as a long oh, sleeve I length, see. or if it's short because they add a cuff. All right, let me see. Um, do you have the the uh, tutorial? They it actually didn't print anything out except for those two pages. Okay. And then there's the. And raglan. this was the whole pattern. Yes. So I thought, I thought like it says something about having the, this piece at the top. And then these, but there's no like. Okay. There should be pieces to. It says, um, if you open, if you can open up it again, it says view simple home or click the links below, um, for the raglan top or the pajama bottoms. So maybe if if I type this in, we could read the tutorial together so anyway I don't see that it would well usually with knit um, yeah because that's obviously a different color up there but it doesn't um, the sleeves are a different color and the, the neckband um, but we can, it's no problem, we just use the, the top, this neckline, and we would, it, what you do is you cut it on the bias, and then it makes it so it'll stretch. So if you want it all one color, that's no problem. If you want two colors, then like they have it, we would make that out of a different color. But if it's all one color, it's fine. All right, come here, see, let me see your arm. because it's cut, I mean, it makes a huge difference in the sleeve length. So if she's a, yeah, it's fine. So, so it's the right length uh -huh. without the cuff? Yes. Um, I want to use this one, like a ruffle. Like, oh, she wants an additional ruffle. ruffle on the end of it, she told me. Right okay. To here. okay, so what we would do is we'd cut it the same, and then we'll add another little piece and we have to make it twice as wide as that. Because to make it ruffle, remember we're gonna pull it in with a string, like we did on your um, waistbands. And the golden silky dress stuff. <laughs> it's up to you. You've gotta buy the material. All right. We'll put this back, please. All right. Now, this is what we're gonna do. This is your leftover, okay? So we're gonna take our Barbie. We're gonna decide how big we want her sleeping bag to be. Okay. Which one do you want, the blue or the owl? Yeah. You want the owl or the blue? The blue. Okay. Let's see what we've got here.
me show you what it's going to turn out. That's all we're going to do. We're going to make it, fold it, sew it here, and then, of course, she's too big for this, but they just slip inside there. Is that cool? That way we don't have to do a zipper. Okay. All right. So now, Rebecca, come over here and pay attention so you can make more if you want to make more later. All you have to do is figure out how long you want it. You put the Barbie on there. Okay. And then she's going to be, yours is going to have to taper because that was smaller in there. So we're just going to go like this. I'm going to go straighten it out. Okay. So all you have to do is we're going to decide which is the top. So this has to be the top because the birds go that way. All you do is you take this and you fold it and fold it again. And we're going to just the top of this. That's all the thing we have to do is go across there. Then you just have to sew it right sides together. Okay, so you go over birdie and so right across there make sure you stay close to that edge okay all right now let's see how big you want your all right which one do you want to measure first and it can all be the same size but you want her to fit in there even her shoes you go sleep in shoes <laughs> that's okay all right Mine's like the eggs not curved, yours is. Okay, well that's no problem. Okay, we want it this big. So we're gonna go like this. You always wanna cut it a little bit bigger than she is, so if we're gonna curve it, we're gonna need her to go here. This is called winging it. Now, since you want it curved. Oh, I just lost the thread. oh no. I hate it when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Yep, pull it all around. I'm gonna curve it around. And the way you always can make a curve right is you want to start it, fold it, and then you can bring this one. match it. Now it's the same curve. Right? Now you want it to be big or smaller? See, because when she fits in here, it's going to be, a, you could put two in there. You want it to be one or two? One. one? Okay. So we're going to move her over here. And we're going to cut this off. And you still have your curve. All right, now you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold this down, fold this down. We're not going to use the butter bird. When it's your turn, we're just going to sew this down across there. And where are we going to sew on? Yeah. Real close to the edge, right? Okay. Okay. And then, once you get that done, watch. All you do, go like this, and you just sew around there. Watch pins. <laughs> okay, then all you have to do is sew from here around there, turn it inside out, it's just going to sleep in there. 
pretty neat. Not hard. Show you something. This, you can see it better here. This is my grandson. I turn it this way. You can't see that way. I'm going to come back. Did you get it? Did I'm you make sure. it? Oh, something happened. Go show her what, I don't know, is the bobbin messed up or something? The, sometimes when the top thread comes out and we miss, miss that it's out, I'm watching for the twist here too. Now he climbs walls like you used to. Okay, watch this one. This is where I used to climb walls to learn how to do this. You can't do that on a wall, can you? <laughs> He's been doing gymnastics since he was your age. And he does flips and he climbs my walls, he climbs our basement walls. He's a nut. Alright, let's see, sweetie. I think when this thread came undone, it can get better value. Yeah. Let's check the bobbin. Sometimes the bobbins get wonky when we push the top off. So. All right. All right. Let's try this. Put it back in the right.
it's doing it right now. Right, you can pull that out later. Now, you just take it, and we're going to sew straight down here. Okay, and I'll show you. And you guys can make all the next ones. Okay, wall climber, come on. Let's finish your sleepy bed. Oh, she's got braided hair. Did you do that or did it come that way? I got it that way. Did you? Mm -hmm. My granddaughter plays Bar Barbie Beauty Shop and she'll braid their hair and put some in outfits and, and she'll say, all right, uh, I'm sorry, you're, you've got to go to the a dance. Okay, wait a minute, let me just get you. I'm down there sewing and she's talking to her Barbies. And she's 10, almost 11. All right, now look, put her arms in there. Night night. All right, girlfriend, you want to sew? She has her own bed now. Yes. Nice and cozy. Nice and cozy. Still hard. Huh? You still feel the hard floor. <laughs> you know what? I don't think she's going to matter. The only thing you That's can do... That's how sleeping bags are. Yes. I make pillow bags for my grandkids. Alright. Sew across there. What is a pillow bag? Um, you make pillowcases, or you buy them, but I made my pillowcases. <laughs> Whoa! And um, then you sew the pillowcases together and slip pillows in there so it makes a pallet, so it's a pillow pallet. So they sleep on that and then in their sleeping bags or they sleep with blankets on them or they love it. So how you do is you lay them down there. You need scissors. Oh, your pins. You lay them down on top of your material and make it longer than they are and up to here. Because then you're gonna do the top and then just sew the sides. Okay? Now if you put it on a piece of material that has doesn't have a fold in it, then you'd have to do both sides and the bottom. That's my six, seven year old, three year old, and he's gonna be 13 this week. But see the pallets that they're laying on. And he's got a sleeping bag and she's got a sleeping bag. It's a um, Power Ranger. <laughs> Where did he go? So there they are. But then this one didn't make it very long. He fell asleep before the movie ended. <laughs> Those are pillow pallets. All right. Now, she would take, these guys would take little ones, wouldn't they? Real little ones. 
So if we made them out of this, I want to see you cut and figure out how big this should be. Okay? So she's, we're going to put the top, so how long would you make it? kids and they're crying. I think they need you. I go, oh, they're not hungry, but okay, now let's see if we fold this over a little bit. Fold it again. Fold it in half. That, just put him on top and see if it's perfect. Is that good enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I try to make this the top because it's wider. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what. Material this long, um, what's wrong, hun? <coughs> Did it not work? It's like, what can we thread stuff? There's more than two. Because the needle's not all the way up. Pull the needle all the way up. Now there's a line. See? Because what it's done is it goes down and catches that, and it wasn't done yet. Uh-oh. We did one thing wrong. Look at hers. You sewed it on the wrong side. You're supposed to put right sides together. But that's okay. Go ahead and put your doll in there and make sure it fits. Okay? All right. So now I've got you two patterns. This is for the big doll, okay? And then this will be Remember, you always sew right sides together so you can turn it and then the bad seam is on the inside. All right. Let's see if this girl will fit. She's a, she's a smaller one too, isn't she, than the big ones, but that's okay. All right. So this is for the big dolls. Okay. Watch. This is for the big dolls, sleepy bags, and this is for the little baby ones. You just cut it out of the material, and then you're gonna sew the top together and then the sides together. And then baby bed, because your head's covered. No, because then we'll pull them out. Because <laughs> remember, we gotta sew across the top first, like that. All right, so there are your patterns. So, what do we think? Try to fit your Barbie in there just to see if it fits in that one. Even though it's inside out, it'll be okay. She's all the way to the bottom and it's covering her up. She's going to be so warm and snuggly. Okay? Alright. 
So remember, the long way is lengthwise, and the short way is the top. So one of these ends, you'll turn under, and then, okay. All right, ladies. Uh-oh, you dropped the big one. Oh, no. Cute. She looks cute. And then you can make it longer if you wanted to cover up your whole head. I want to cover her head, but not her face. Hmm. Well, then you'd have to make a, like a, another piece that would come, you'd sew another piece on to here. Just a skinny piece. Like this. Like that. And then cover her head. And then you could do like this, you could do like this, like this. And then she'd be all warm. <laughs> Okay, ladies, you got it? Did you pick up the big one? Okay, so, so remember, we want to sew it, when you get done with this, you want to turn it inside out and sew it the other way. All right, good job. All right, I will see you next Tuesday, and we'll work on your, mom will make those dresses out, okay? Whoops, I don't need that. And that baby ended up in there somehow. <laughs> Bye guys, I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm gonna get my coat here. I wanna make a bed for them. A bed? A bed? The mattress. Well, um you can. You just make a flat piece like this. And you would iron like you put two or three together or if you have stuffing. Like what we made out of our pillows, you could do that. And you would put it in there and then sew it up, stuff it, and then turn it into be a, a bed. Or you could put a piece of cardboard in there. I know, but still, you know, it's a bed. But yeah, you could put a piece of foam in there, all kinds of stuff. Okay? Right, good. And then you turn it one more time. Good. Now you sew there, and when you get done, you pin it right sides together. You want to cut another one out of this? You're clear on the other side of the room. All right. I'll see you next week. Sleeping bag. I'm gonna make beds instead. Why? Because I don't like sleeping bags. Well, they can go camping and have a sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. I made mine wrong. Oh. Did she say you made it wrong? Well, what are you supposed to do? I'm supposed to sew right sides together. And I s didn't. Oh. Well, it still works. I don't want to. I'm going to make a bed. She said I can make a bed. She doesn't have a bed. How do you do that? She said you need foam or you can use 